Hi everyone, my name is Eliana and I have the pleasure of serving in the response team at Audacious Church Central Manchester location. It is great that you can join me today and I'm going to be um, continuing on the current theme of Jesus is by sharing how Jesus is my Redeemer. Um, for those who don't know, the theology of redemption is deliverance of sin, salvation and atonement for guilt. And we know that Jesus Christ died. Um, he lived a life without sin and he died a painful death for our past, present and future sin so that we can be saved and we can live to righteousness. And as it says in Romans chapter 5, um, verse 8, but God shows his love for us in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. This demonstrates God's love, unconditional love, because if we think about it, Christ died for the ungodly who are those who denied or disobeyed God. With that being said, um, I just want to remind you that even though you have sinned and even though you think that you are far away from God, he wants a relationship with you and he loves you. There's nothing that can separate you from the love of God. So he wants that relationship with you. Just a reminder. But now going back to Jesus being my redeemer. I say this because I've experienced his compassion and his grace, his love, his mercy firsthand. Um, I was recently baptized um, and I it was amazing. It was amazing. I remember speaking to my friend and telling her that something needed to change. That was the day before I got baptized. I told her like something needed to change because yeah, like something needed to change. And I said that, and I'm going to explain now um, a bit of background. Um, I've been Christian my whole life, um, but I was a lukewarm Christian and I didn't submit to God. I was in charge of my life. Um, and I remember last year um, doing the Daniel fast and one of my requests were to know God like never before. After completing the 21 days, I think it was like, after completing it, two days after, everything just changed in my life. Um, yeah, I had to depend on God for everything. I had to trust him and I had no idea what to do but to trust him. So I had doors being closed, friendships that ended, a few hardships, but I knew that that time God was strengthening me. So most of the times I was feeling down and I had no excitement in me. And um, this is what I meant when some when I said to my friend that something needed to change. Um, because I know that God promises love, joy, peace, but I wasn't I wasn't feeling it. I didn't had I had no joy, no peace or whatsoever. And um, after being baptized, I just felt like everything just washed away. I just felt refreshed. And my spirit just felt good and I was overwhelmed by it. And it was so powerful. Um, I have fallen short a few times. Um, I've struggled with sin and I'm still struggling with a few things. But Jesus has showed, he showed me grace every single time. And he was there every single time. And his love is just... And I want you to experience that. And thanks to him, I'm no longer slave to sin. And you don't have to be a slave to sin. So whatever cycle that sin has you trapped in, and it feels like it's never going to end, you're going to keep reliving that it is a lie. You can be set free. You can be delivered. And only Jesus can do that. So, and you can be set free in Christ and have eternal life. Allow Jesus to be your redeemer. He will never let you down. You can trust in Jesus because what he says, he will, he will do it. So he will never let you down. He's for you. He will help you. He will rescue you. And he knows exactly how you feel. And he wants to break that stronghold and set you free. Let him be your firm foundation. As it says in Matthew chapter 7, verse 24. Therefore, 
everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. This verse speaks for, it, for itself. And this is your confirmation to build your house in God. On the rock, if that makes sense. Let God, let Jesus be your rock in everything you do. He will never let you down. He will provide. And he will be there. He's a friend. And he wants that relationship with you. He wants that relationship with you. And he will always be there for you. He will provide. He will strengthen you. And I pray that um, this devotional um, helps you in in any kind of way and i just pray that you are blessed with this message and i just pray that um i just pray for god's will in your life and have an amazing day